We're going to practice the strategies we've learned so far about count on and doubles for addition. This is lesson 3.6. We now have learned two ways we can add. We can count on from the greater add end. For 5 plus 3, 5 is the greater add end. We can count on 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. We can use doubles facts. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, so 3 plus 4 would be one more than that 3. 4 is one more, isn't it? So we could use 3 plus 3 plus one more. It would be one more than the 6, it would be a 7. That's using doubles plus 1. Doubles minus 1 uses 3 plus 3 equals 6, and because we're going to add 3 plus 2, and this 2 is 1 less than this 3. See, these are the same. This one's 1 less. The sum will be 1 less than this sum. 1 less than 6 is a 5. 3 plus 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5, doubles minus 1. And the sum will be the same when we use different strategies because we're adding the same amount. We can count on from the greater add in, 8 plus 1 equals 9, 8, 9. 8 plus 2, 8 is the greater add end, 8, 9, 10. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. 8 plus 3, we start with the larger greater add end, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. We can use doubles plus 1 and doubles minus 1. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. We can use this information to do, to add 4 plus 5. This 5 is one more than that 4. These are the same. So this would be a doubles plus 1. It's 4 plus 4 plus 1. That's going to be plus 1 to that sum 8. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. It's just one more. 4 plus 3 would be a doubles minus 1. This 3 is 1 less than this 4. So the sum is going to be 1 less than that 8. 1 less than 8 is a 7. We can complete these boxes. We can count on 1. We start with the greater add in 3, 4. 4, 5, 5, 6. We can count on 2. We start with the greater add end, the 3, 3, 4, 5. We start with the greater add end, 4, 4, 5, 6. We count on. 5 plus 2, 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 2, 5, 6, 7. We can count on 3. We start with the greater number, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7. We start with the greater number, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8. We start with the greater number 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can use doubles. 3 plus 3 is 3 plus 3 more. That's 6. We could also count on with these, couldn't we? We could say 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. We can count on with a 4, couldn't we? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 5, you have 5 fingers on one hand and 5 fingers on your other hand. You also have 5 toes on one foot and 5 toes on another foot. Do you know how many fingers you have? You have 10. For doubles plus 1, the number is just one more than the double. 
we would use the doubles 4 plus 4 and 5 is one more so that's a doubles plus 1 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 so 4 plus 5 must equal 9 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, so 3 plus 4 must be one more than 6. It must be 7. And for the doubles plus 1, this add end is one more. See? We have 4 and one more is 5. 3 and one more is 4. This add end is one more than that add end. For doubles minus 1, this add in is one less than this add in. Four is one less than five. Six is one less than seven. That's how we know it's a doubles minus one. See? We can use five plus five, which we know is equal to ten, and this four is one less than the five, so the sum is going to be one less than ten. It'll be a nine. Seven plus six. We can use 7 plus 7, that's 14, and take 1 away because we're doing 7 plus 6. That's 1 less than 7. 1 less than 14 is 13. So you know it's doubles plus 1 when the second add end is 1 bigger than the first add end. You know it's doubles minus 1 when the second add end is 1 less than the first add end. See? We can add and find the sum. After we find the sum, we can put a circle around the doubles plus one or doubles minus one facts. Our first one is six plus one. We can start with the greater number six and count on one, seven. Two plus two, do you know the answer to this one? Two, three, four, if you said four, you're right. 4 plus 5, we can use the doubles fact 4 plus 4 and add one more. 4 plus 4 is 8 and one more is 9. 5 plus 5, that's how many fingers we have, right? We have 10. 7 plus 7, 7 plus 7 is 14. 9 plus 3, we can count on 9, 10, 11, 12. 5 plus 6, we can use the doubles fact 5 plus 5, which is 10, and add one more to 10. It's 11. 7 plus 6, we can use the doubles fact 7 plus 7, and do doubles minus one, because this six is one less than that seven. The sum will be one less than 14. It'll be 13. Now we need to put a circle around all the doubles plus one or doubles minus one facts. This was a count on. We started with six and counted on one. That's a doubles, but it's not a doubles plus one or doubles minus one. This one. This was a doubles plus one. We did four plus four plus one to get nine. That's a doubles. It's not a doubles plus one or minus one. That's a doubles. This was a count on. We started with nine and counted on three. This was a doubles. This was a doubles plus one. We did five plus five plus one more. This was a doubles minus one. Six and seven are right next to each other when we count, aren't they? That's how we know. This was a doubles minus one because the second add-in is one less than the first add-in. This is a doubles plus one because the second add-in is one more than the first add-in. So doubles plus one and doubles minus one facts are one number apart. For the plus one, we have a three, then a four, a five, then a six. See how they're one number apart from each other? For the doubles minus one, they're one number apart, but it goes one less, seven and then six, like we're counting backwards, nine and then eight, one smaller, see? 
we can make our own count on two problem. We just choose a number and add two. We could choose any number we want because we're making our own problem. We could choose any number. I'm going to choose five. You might choose a different number, but I'm going to go with five. Now we need to count on two. That means we need to add two. Five children were playing. Two more children joined them. How many children are playing now? We can write our addition number sentence, our equation. Five plus two is equal to. We can start with the five and count on the two, like it tells us to count on two. Five, six, seven. Five plus two is equal to seven. And we actually could have used any number here because it's our own problem. We just know we needed to add two more to make it a count on two problem. We can add, then we can change the order of the add-ins, and we can add again. Nine plus three, we start with the greater number nine, nine, 10, 11, 12. When we change the order of the add-ins and put the three on top and the nine on the bottom, it's still 12. We're still adding the same numbers. We're going to get the same sum. 8 plus 2, we start with the greater number 8. 9, 10. If we change the order of the add-ins and put the 2 on top and the 8 down below, it's still going to be 10 because we can add in any order. See? We can write count on facts to show a sum of six. Count on facts, we count on one, two, three, right? So we can write five plus one equals six, five, six. We can write four plus two, four, five, six. That equals six. And those would be count on facts. We can write a doubles fact to show a sum of six. The add-ins have to be the same. We can write three plus three. That equals six. Our next lesson is add 10 and more. That's going to be lesson 3.7. We're going to use some 10 frames. You can find 10 frames on the internet and print them out to use with counters. Just look for the images. I'll see you next video. I hope you're doing well. Bye.